The trigonometric ratios is talking about the sine ratio, the cosine ratio and the tangent ratio. And what it's talking about is when we have a right angle triangle, we can use sine, cosine and tangent to figure out sometimes an angle within the triangle and sometimes a side of the triangle if we're given enough other pieces of information. The trick is to label your sides correctly. First off, we must always have a right angle to be able to apply this. If you have a triangle that's not a right angle, like that or like that, they kind of look the same. If you have a non-right angle triangle, you can't apply this. So that's the first thing you have to check for. Always opposite your right angle is the longest side along the triangle. And the longest side, which is opposite that right angle, we call the hypotenuse. The other two are going to be called the opposite and the adjacent. And that'll depend in relationship to which angle we're talking about. So say our mystery angle, theta, for example, is down here. The angle, this angle in the triangle, the side that's opposite it is this one. If we spray outwards from that angle, which line do we form? We form this line here. So that being opposite our angle is the opposite side. The side that's left over, not already labeled, is the one that's next door to our angle. And because it's next door, it's next to it, it's adjacent to it. So we call that the adjacent side. Now, if we were talking about a different angle, say this one up here instead of this one, then our sides would be labeled differently. The hypotenuse would stay the same because the hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse. It's always that one that's opposite the right angle. But now if we're talking about this mystery angle up here, the side that's opposite it, that it creates by that angle, that angle splays out and becomes this side down here. So now this is the opposite and the one left over, the one next door over here would be the adjacent. So that's how we label our triangle. Now how do we apply these ratios? The way these ratios work, this so part of the mnemonic that we're using to remember this, Soka Toa, stands for the sine of theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. So in our SOH we have the sine equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. For ka we have the cosine equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That's our CAH. And for this part, the TOA, we have the tan equals the opposite over the adjacent. That's our TOA. So for the sine of theta, we have the opposite over the hypotenuse. For the cosine of theta, we have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And for the tangent of theta, we have the opposite over the adjacent. So say you've been given the information that the angle down here is 43 degrees and this side which is the hypotenuse is 12 and we're trying to find the length of this side going along here. Well because it's a right angle triangle we can use Sokotoa to work this out. Now this x is that the opposite or the adjacent? We look at our angle, the piece of information that we have, and we figure out which line is that angle creating. It's splaying out towards something and it's creating this line here. So it's opposite that angle, which means this is the opposite. This side over here is the hypotenuse, which means that this one left over is the adjacent. So we don't have any information to do with the adjacent, so we're not applying that. We're going to be using the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we've got OH. So which one of these three are we going to use? We're going to use this one. So we have the sine of our mystery angle, 43, is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is our X over 12. 
Now to get x by itself, I'm going to times this 12 over to the other side, or you could call it timesing both sides by 12 and then this cancels out. Either way, we get sine 43 times 12 equals x. So you just whack that into your calculator. And you need to make sure your calculator is in degrees mode for this to work out. If your calculator is in radians, you'll get a different answer. So if you don't know how to set your calculator to put it in the correct mode, make sure you ask your teacher. For this one, we get an answer of x equals 8.18. Let's say now that we're given this angle up here is 27 degrees and we're trying to find this unknown over here. So what we've got is the hypotenuse over here the side that is opposite our angle, the side that is created by that angle is over here. So that's the opposite down there, which means that the piece of information we do have is the adjacent. So we're going to be using the adjacent and the hypotenuse, which we, means we've got AH. So which one of these are we using? We're going to be using that, the cosine one. So the cosine ratio is that cos of theta equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which means the cos of 27 is equal to 5 over y. Now I need to get y by itself. The cos 27 and the y are actually just going to swap places, but I'll show you how that works. First of all, I need to move the y away from the 5. So cos 27 times y equals 5. Now to get the y by itself, it's been timesed by the cos 27, so I need to divide by that. So I have y equals 5 divided by cos 27. And we get an answer of y equals 5.61. Say we're given an angle down here of 38, and we're trying to find this x. The hypotenuse is over here, and that doesn't factor in, because that's not one of the two pieces of information that we do have. So what we have is the side that's opposite our angle, the side that our angle is forming by splaying out towards it. That's part of it, the opposite. And the other one we've got is the adjacent. So we're dealing with the opposite and the adjacent. We've got O and A, so which one of these are we using? Funnily enough, we're going to use tan. So we have tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent which in this case would be tan of 38 equals the opposite x over the adjacent 10. So to get the x by itself we times the 10 over here we have tan 38 times 10 equals x so x equals 7.8. We can use this if we're trying to find an angle as well. In this case we have an angle down here, our mystery angle, and we've got two of the sides. So let's label them. This one over here is the hypotenuse because it's opposite that right angle. This angle splays out towards this line going down here. So this three must be the opposite. And I don't need to worry about the adjacent because it doesn't factor in. I don't have that piece of information. I've got the two I'm going to use. So I've got the opposite and the hypotenuse, which means that I'll be dealing with sine. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which means sine of theta is equal to 3 over 5. Now how do I work out theta if I've got sine of theta here? Well, what we do is we say theta equals the inverse sine of 3 over 5. On your calculator, this looks like a little sine to the negative 1. So it might be the second function above your sine button. You'll probably press shift sine to get this little figure, sine to the negative 1. That's taking the inverse sine, basically. So you do this with 3.5 in the brackets in your calculator. And you get theta equals 37 degrees. Say we've got our mystery angle up here. This over here, let's do our labeling. This would be the hypotenuse, but that's not one of the two pieces of information we do have, so we don't have to worry about that. This angle splays out towards this line, which means that this down here is the opposite. And this is the one left over. It's the next door neighbor, so it's the adjacent. So we're dealing with the opposite and the adjacent. We've got O and A, so we're going to be looking at tan. 
So tan theta equals the opposite over the adjacent, which means tan theta is equal to 155 divided by 70. So to find theta, we take the inverse tan of 155 over 70, which gives us theta equals 66 degrees. So in this triangle, what is the length of PQ? And remember when they say two letters like that, they're talking about the line that joins those two points. So we're talking about this line along here. This is line from P to Q. So this is our X down here. So the first thing we need to check is, is it a right angle triangle? Because if it's not a right angle triangle, then we can't use Sokotoa. But what do you know? Funnily enough, the example I use in the Sokotoa video is a right angle triangle. So this is our hypotenuse over here because this is opposite our right angle. What about the other ones? Here is our mystery angle and the line that it's splaying out to create is this one over here. So this would be our opposite which means our leftover down here is the adjacent. The piece that I'm trying to find is the adjacent, it's this X, and the piece of information that I've been given is the hypotenuse. So I'm dealing with A and H. So in Sokotoa, which one gives me an A and an H? There it is, A, H. So I'm using the cosine ratio. So I'm using the cos of theta, mystery angle, equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And that's where I get my C, a, H from in the ka. So cos of the angle that I have is 42 equals the adjacent side, which is my X over the hypotenuse, which is 14.5. So to get the X by itself on one side of the equals, so I can solve for X, I'm going to get rid of this 14.5. It's been divided, so I'll times it over here. I have cos of 42 times 14.5 will give me x. Whack it into your calculator. I get x equals 10.78. And it's important to put the units on there. That's going to be centimeters. What about this one? I've got a right angle triangle, so I know I'm going to be able to use these trigonometric ratios. Now, which one's the hypotenuse? It's the one that's opposite the right angle, so that's going to be over here. So there's my hypotenuse for the 6.2. The angle that we're dealing with is over here, and the line that it creates by splaying out to make a line, the one opposite is over here, so this is our opposite. And this must be the next door neighbor, this is the adjacent. So I've got the A and the H again as the pieces of information. So I'm going to be using cos again cos of theta equals a over h. But this time I'm not solving for a side, I'm solving for an angle itself. So I say cos of theta equals the adjacent 3.8 over the hypotenuse 6.2. And to find theta, I take the inverse cos. That's like undoing this cos operation to get it over that side. What's happened to the theta? Well, we've kind of caused it. So we're going to uncause it by taking the inverse cos of 3.8 over 6.2. I think I've gone off the side of the screen there, sorry. Whack that into your calculator and you get 52.2 degrees. Last example. A flagpole is secured by guy ropes anchored to the ground 8 meters from the base of the flagpole and to a point 9 meters up the flagpole. Find the angle the guy ropes make with the ground and the length of the guy ropes. Okay, so the flagpole is secured by guy ropes anchored to the ground 8 metres from the base of the flagpole. So these lengths here are 8 metres from the base of the flagpole in the centre. So from here to here is 8, and from here to here is 8. The flagpole itself, or where these ropes join up at least, that length there, whoa, not a straight line, is 9 metres. And do we have a right angle or not? Even though it looks like maybe this triangle isn't a right angle, we can actually assume that we do have one because what we're measuring is off this line right here in the center at the center of that flagpole and that makes a right angle going this way. So here's my triangle and I've got a right angle and I know two of the sides. So first of all we need to find the angle the guy rope makes with the ground. So that's this angle there. So we're trying to find the angle between the rope and the ground, which means that's our angle. So hypotenuse comes out from the right angle. That's that one there. 
The opposite comes out from our mystery angle, so that's that one there. And the one that's left over is the adjacent, so that's that one down there. Meaning the two pieces of information that I have, the 9 and the 8, are the A and the O. So I've got OA, I'm going to use tan. So tan of my mystery angle is equal to the opposite, which is 9, over the adjacent, which is 8. So theta equals the inverse tan of 9 over 8. So theta equals 48.4 degrees. Now for part B, I'm going to find the length of the ropes. So now what I'm trying to find is that length there, which is the hypotenuse. So now I'm trying to find the hypotenuse. Now I need to be either finding an angle or at least know one angle within the triangle. I can't use O, A and H because then no angle factors in. So what I'm going to do is the fact that I've got this piece of information down here, I'll use that as one of the bits of info that I know and I can either use the O or the A, that is the 9 or the 8, to form the ratio. So what I mean by that is I could say the sine of 48.4 is equal to the opposite, which would be 9, over the hypotenuse, which is my mystery angle, and work it out that way. Or using the A instead of the O, I would say the cos of 48.4 is equal to the A, which is 8, over the hypotenuse. Put either of those into your calculator and you'll get an answer of H equals 12 metres.